American actor, film producer, and director known worldwide under the professional name John Wayne Marion Robert Morrison was born on the 26th of May, 1907 in Winterset, Iowa. He was a winner of three Academy Awards and was one of the most popular actors for more than three decades during a career in the cinema industry from 1926 to 1976. He passed away in 1979. So how much was John Wayne's net worth? It's estimated by Celebrity.Money that at the time of his death, the wealth of the legendary actor, director, and producer was as much as $50 million earned during more than five decades in the film industry. John Wayne's parents were of Scots-Irish Presbyterian ancestry. His father, Clyde Leonard Morrison, was a chemist, and mother, Mary Albert Brown, a housewife. The family moved to California, where Wayne helped his father in the pharmacy, delivered newspapers and sold ice cream in a pastry shop, whose owner also dealt with the shoeing of horses in the Hollywood Film Studios. Marion was educated at Wilson Middle School and Glendale High School and played in the football team, which won the league championship in 1924. He wanted to study at the U.S. Naval Academy in Annapolis, but was not accepted. So thanks to a sports scholarship, he enrolled at the University of Southern California. However, due to an injury suffered, he lost his scholarship and had to forego his studies. John Wayne's career in Hollywood began in the late 20s as a fitter decorator in Fox Film Corporation. Then he was given small roles by legendary director John Ford as a warehouseman, driver, watchman, and dummy, adopting his stage name after a Civil War general. The first main role John landed was in the film The Big Trail in 1930, directed by Raoul Walsh. Wayne attributed his adopted walk and demeanor as a copy of Wyatt Earp, who he had met briefly. However, he was really noticed in the film Stagecoach in 1939, but rose to fame in the 1940s after World War II, from which he was exempted from enlisting because of his age, but which the studio agreed with because of his acting worth. However, that included touring U.S. bases overseas. Wayne then managed to keep his popularity for more than three decades, often being seen in military roles or depicting cowboys. During his lengthy career, John Wayne landed main roles in almost 170 films, the most popular of which were Red River, directed by Howard Hawks, The Searchers, directed by John Ford, The Man Who Shot Liberty Valance, 1962, also directed by John Ford, El Dorado in 66, directed and produced by Howard Hawks, True Grit in 69, by Henry Hathaway, for which he won an Oscar and Golden Globe, among many other awards. For lifetime achievements, John was awarded the Henrietta Award and the Cecil B. DeMille Award. His popularity and talent is confirmed by his consistent listing in the top 10 money-making polls of all time, actually for 25 years. Even his last few films, including Mac Q and The Shootist in the late 70s, were box office hits. Concerning his personal life, John Wayne was married three times, firstly in 1933 to Josephine Alicia Sanez, who with whom he had four children, and of whom Patrick became an actor. However, they divorced in 1945. A year later, John Wayne married the actress Esperanza Bauer Diaz, but they divorced in 1954, after which he soon married actress Pilar Palat, who gave birth to three children, and although they didn't divorce, they separated in 1973. He then lived with Pat Stacey until his death. Wayne was also known to have had affairs, including with Marlene Dietrich and Merle Oberon. Politically, John Wayne was initially a prominent Democrat, but his strong anti-communist activities saw him drift to the Republican side of life. John Wayne died on the 11th of June, 1979, at the UCLA Medical Center, suffering from stomach cancer and lung cancer, and was buried in the California Pacific View Memorial Park in Corona del Mar. He was subsequently rewarded with the Congressional Gold Medal in 1979 and Presidential Medal of Freedom in 1980 by U.S. President Jimmy Carter.